it's my due date, you guys. Well, you know, my baby's due date. I'm not having her today unless she comes, but I made it to 40 weeks. Wow, Griffin. That baby in my belly. I didn't think we were gonna make it. <laughs> look at mommy's wreaths. They look so good. B is upside down. So I got all my vlogs up except for yesterday, and I'm I just feel so good that I've got that caught up. One's about to. I went put two up yesterday. One's about to go live. It probably went live right now, and then I'll edit the other one today and get it up tonight, and then you know I'll be pretty caught up. Everybody that was telling me my B was upside down. I did, I. When I was putting it together, like I knew something was wrong, but I didn't figure out what, and then I realized it's because Andy sprayed the wrong side. I, when I pulled out of my driveway just now, I really could tell from far away. I was like, the top is big and the bottom is little. <laughs> but we're headed to my doctor's appointment right now. Andy's gonna meet me there. Just come to the la come to the first appointment, come to the last appointment, you know. Open and close that chapter. We're gonna go to the doctor in two days or to the hospital in two days to start having this baby <laughs> if she doesn't come on her own. I just don't really feel like she will, but you know, I don't know. I'm getting really anxious that I'm not gonna make it, you know, just cause it's so close at this point. So I was gonna do my spray tan and all that tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna do it today <laughs> just to be safe. Worst comes to worst, if I go into labor, I can take a shower. But at least I'll have a tan. Um, but I need to like shower and wash my hair and stuff first. So after the doctor, I'm probably gonna come home and do all that prepping and then go get a spray tan this afternoon, making my sister spray me. It's cause I can't like, I can usually spray myself just fine, but like I have this big thing in my torso and I can't really do much. <laughs> I can hardly wipe myself because it's just, that's how, what happens when you're pregnant. I'm just so happy that I'm like caught up on vlogs pretty much. I'm back to where I was. You guys are seeing a lot closer. I was like four days behind for a minute. So I'm like so relieved. And I just am so happy to have made it to 40 weeks today. It's so exciting. And yeah, life is good. I'm feeling blessed. You know, I feel blessed all the time, but just one of those little things where you're like, oh, sun shining and I feel blessed today. Back home making some lunch. So at the doctor today, there was no change in my cervix, which is like, I mean, it's whatever. He was like, wait, why did I have you come in today? When I just go in in two days to the doctor. Yeah, so whatever. Hoping, you know, he, he told me he was like, think you would be okay if you didn't do the Foley bulb, like going in Thursday night and doing the Foley bulb, which is the thing that helps, um, what do you say, ripen the cervix, <laughs> like dilate you pretty good. But I was like, I'd rather just do that. <laughs> Especially since I've been sitting at a one for so long. I was like, it doesn't hurt. And he was like, well, I mean, it's uncomfortable. But I was like, I don't mean it doesn't hurt. I meant like, it wouldn't hurt to do it. He said there's no side effects is basically. That's what he was, you know, whatever. So I was like, okay, let's just do that. So I came back home. I've been on my bed. I'm like really tired. I'm just feeling really tired today. I used that CC cream today with a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, that new powder by Dermablend, the Illuminate or the Banana Illuminating Powder. I used it. The Kylie blush, which I kind of went heavy handed on today, obviously. The Lime Life bronzer, Lime Life shadows for my brows, the NARS Climax mascara, which is a new mascara. If you can tell, it's getting on my freak. I hate when mascaras do that. I bought a sample size of it at Ulta last week. I really like it. And then Make It Forever Wherever Walnut lip liner, which is my favorite, I think, of all time right now. I want to try more shades, but I really like it and I like how it wears. I got this breakout right here. It's like a little bit mighty, like it hurts. I always get a breakout like right there, like either there or like somewhere else on my lip line, right before like a major life event, like before I got married, like things like that. It's so yeah. weird. On top of that lip liner, I use the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss. Put that on way earlier, it's not really on anymore. And then my highlight is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Highlight Palette. But anyway, in case you were wondering, while I remembered what I used. But that foundation, I got it in the shade light and it's like perfect for me when I'm fair. But I'm making some mac and cheese. It sounded really, really good. 
I can't believe like we're so close to having the baby. I was trying to take it easy. I want to move some furniture in my room, try to figure out if I want to, not like the bed, like little things like the cart, <laughs> like the baby stuff, not like legit furniture. I'm gonna show you how I make mac and cheese. It's not the healthiest, you know, or anything. So don't come for me, but it tastes good. So after you cook your noodles and you drain them, you need butter, whatever kind of butter you use. And I use quite a bit of butter. Probably be like half a stick. Why are you in my laundry room? Our mac and cheese is done. Then you put your cheese in there. You stir it up. And it kind of just looks like a clumpy, not clumpy, but kind of clumpy with the cheese. Then you take half and half. And you just do a splash. Mommy do. Mommy do. And then you've got some good mac and cheese. There's your mac and cheese. It actually looks like it's supposed to. I feel like if you use what the box tells you to do, it's way too liquidy. Mm. That's all I got going on right now. So I think I'm gonna show you guys what I use on my hair and stuff, like my hair care routine. Um, once I get in the shower, or not like when I'm in the shower, but you know what I mean. <laughs> like once I get going and stuff, I'll show you guys what I use in my hair. Um, because I've been using the same stuff for a while now and it's different from my hair care routine that you would have last seen. Like it's pretty, pretty much different entirely. So I'll show you guys what I've been using for the last almost a year, I'd say. Like all of 2018 basically. So I'll show you guys what I've been using and yeah. I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to go eat all of this pretty much okay guys so i took a shower i'm gonna make this kind of quick because it's 2 50 and i need to meet my sister and like i don't know pretty soon but i feel really clean and like oh i feel so good so real quickly i'll tell you what i use in the shower i switched between two hair care lines one of the hair care lines i love that i didn't use today but it's the caviar anti-aging replenishing moisture shampoo and conditioner I love these. Depends on what I'm doing with my hair, but that's not what I use today. What I did first was I used this line, the Kerastase Discipline line. I use like the whole line. So this is the shampoo. So I use this first, and then the Discipline line is good for smooth smoothing. So like I have curly hair and I'm blowing it out, so it keeps it smooth. Then I use the Lanza Lanza. I think it's Lonza. Silver brightening shampoo for my blonde. It just kind of keeps it not so brassy. It gives it a little bit of a lift, even though I need to get my hair done like color wise. Um, that like carries me. Then I use the Discipline ma Masker Mascaratine. This is like a, a deeper conditioner. And then today on my ends, um, so I put this like all over. It's a part of the smoothing line. I also did some of the deep repair treatment for macadamia natural oil this is the old packaging i love that it's like an og and um, i use that on my ends from like my ears down just to give it extra moisture then i use this <laughs> this is the fondant fluid at least i don't know but it's like um it's like a, a washout treatment so like i'll put this in my hair you leave it in for like a minute and then you rinse it out and it, i've just noticed a big difference like i really like this stuff it doesn't weigh it down or anything but it helps smooth it out when i blow it out and that's pretty much it but for the most part i've been using that kerastase line now i've let my hair be in the towel for a little bit i just like it better that way I prefer to do that i mean use the frizzies daily nourishment leave-in conditioner i've been using this and i don't mind it And then I'm going to brush it through. And I'm brushing it out with a wet brush. This is like a detangle brush, I think is what it's called. But it doesn't have it. I like it for blow drying my hair too because it has like the air through it, you know, the space through it. Then I'm going to take some of the Moroccan oil treatment. And this is, that a, wet? This is an actual oil. And I'm going to put that like on my ends of my Why, hair. Why do, why do you get those? Then I'm taking the Dry Bar Southern Bell Volume Boosting Mousse. Even though I have a lot of volume because my hair is curly, I just really like this. So I just put it in like three sections. Put it like here. And on this side. Isn't it blue? Hey, uh -uh, don't play with that. That's your daddy's. Blue. And then I'll put some right, right up in the middle of my hair. Daddy loves that green, red. It's too wet. It's just too wet. 
Then, last thing I do is take the Kerastase um, Discipline line again. This is a taming milk. I've been, like I've said, using this for a while now and I'll not use some products sometimes and I can just tell what's been working. I use about that much in my hair and then I just run it through. But when I'm actually blow drying and straightening my hair, like you can, I can tell a difference with this product. It really does like help smooth everything out. And then I'm just gonna blow dry it out. And then I'm gonna straighten it. I need to wash my makeup off my face. It's like running off. I didn't wash my face in the shower, but anyway, that's all I do for my hair. I'm gonna blow dry it out and then straighten it. And hopefully it won't take very long. Um, I've got to go meet my sister. I think my dad's gonna come to town tomorrow. So that's exciting, he's gonna come early. So we, I told him just to come whenever so we can hang out. Um, so I think he's gonna come tomorrow. But he's staying at my house. Anyway, I'm gonna blow dry my hair out and I will see you guys in a little bit. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you have any more questions about my hair though, just let me know and I'd be happy to help. If you have any suggestions of some products that you like and you have curly hair like me, um, let me know. I'm always down to try new things for my hair. So anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Alright you guys, I straightened my hair out, that's what it looks like. I just washed my face, put my skincare on, and I'm about to go get a spray tan. Stupid little pimple. At least it should be gone the next couple days, but I feel so good that my hair is clean. Oh, I feel just like I'm ready. Like, I'm ready now. Except I need a tan. For real. So, we're gonna head out. I'm about to go meet my sister, get a spray tan, and I'll see you when I get home. Oh, and by the way, in case you were wondering, um, the Aqua Bomb sleeping mask that I picked up a couple of days ago, or that I got in a couple of days ago, I used it last night for the first night. This morning, I noticed a difference already in how soft my skin was. I just thought it was so nice, so I, I'm using it again today. Just so, it feels like water. I don't know. It feels really good, but it feels like a gel, and then it dries down, and your face gets soft. It's not sticky, so I really love this. And then I used the Belief Eye Balm. You can see how big and like sizes these are. Really generous sizes. And then my absolute holy grail lip balm, the Patchology Lip Service. Oh, I saw how much I had left and I was like, damn, I should have ordered some more before I had the baby. I get it off Ulta.com or you can get it on their website. But yeah, my nose over here is so dry. Griffin, his nose started bleeding not long ago. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go get my sister. Okay, bye. I got my spray tan. So we're gonna go meet my parents for dinner. We're going to one of my favorite Mexican places and then I'm gonna go home. But I feel so much better that I'm tan and my hair is washed so I'm pretty much good to go. Now I just have to chill out for the next couple days. Except I do have to clean my floors of my house. I can't believe it's almost here. Like literally in a couple of days. Holy cow. It's just like this week has gone by. It's like Tuesday evening. What? I'm just in shock. So I just got back home and it's like 7.30. I'm getting ready to get into the bed. I'm ready to relax. I'm probably going to edit today's vlog. I don't think there's too much and that way I can get it up. Sorry, you know when your hair is freshly washed and you just like have to touch it. Now you can see my hair and how it just like looks. With the products that I used, feels good to have it cleaned. I've like washed my hair but like I've never 
made time to blow dry my hair like immediately after washing it because I was having that carpal tunnel and stuff like it's been a while like I think it's been since that funeral that I went to I was like a couple weeks before Thanksgiving was like the last time that I really took the time to blow dry it out and I just forget how much I love it Whew, I'm out of breath if you saw I kind of moved my room around I put the mirror that used to be in this corner I put it behind me um and I put the rock and play in this corner because I sleep on this side of the bed. So I wanted the rock and play close to me because I'm going to try to put her in the rock and play. I came home to a couple packages on Amp from, my, from Amazon. And I wanted to share because they were gifts from my subscribers. And it just still blows my mind when you guys send me stuff. It's so sweet. This is from Carly. She said, Lauren, I've always loved your vlogs and just wanted to send you a little something for Lorelai. Enjoy and happy holidays to you, Andy Griffin and Skyly. It's super sweet and thoughtful for her to think of me and to get me something off my registry. This was just a little um, three pack of little cotton nightgowns, which are so amazing with newborns and babies in general that are getting diaper changes in the middle of the night because they're just like, they cinch at the bottom and you can just pull their legs out and don't have to deal with buttons or sliding their legs in the pant legs. These are little swans and this is like the style. I had one of these styles with Griffin and I know it seems kind of weird because he was a boy and I thought it was kind of weird at first, but it was like my favorite nightgown. This one has elephants and giraffes, and little flowers and stuff all over it. And then these just have little flowers. Isn't that so cute? Thank you so much, Carly. That was so sweet and thoughtful. Um, happy holidays to you and your family, and I really appreciate you thinking of us. And then I had another package from Taylor Barkley. Taylor Danielle 5 is her um, username. He wrote Lauren so happy for baby girl's upcoming arrival. Here's a gift for her and a bonus something for you. Love to your family and Merry Christmas. And it was just so sweet. She got me something off my registry. Um, these I was really intrigued by. I don't remember what blogger it was I saw on my Instagram that was using these and I was very intrigued by them and so I went and added them to my registry. They're called Smilo. S-M-I-L-O and they are a pacifier that was I think created by orthodontist but they are let me take one out the way that they are made is to it's for the the mouth or whatever let's see but they feel really cool they feel like silicone they look like they would be hard plastic in the picture but they're like silicone so this is I guess on the bottom this is the newborn ones and then there's stage one stage two and stage three um, different shapes and sizes and everything these glow in the dark so it makes it easier to find at bedtime so let's just leave them in the light to charge for a few minutes and they'll glow for a few hours that's pretty cool the only design on the market that helps prevent crossbite certain pacifier shapes create a gap between the tongue and palate during soothing this causes the palate to collapse down and narrow as your baby grows a condition known as crossbite three support arches ensure the pacifier bulb expands rather than collapses providing the proper fit and promoting straight smiles in your developing baby they're the healthy way to encourage the natural development of your baby's suck swallow and break breath mechanisms super cool and the glow in the dark thing is super awesome when i opened this up i was really excited i didn't know what it was i didn't know if andy ordered something or what and so i just opened it i was like oh my gosh it's more presents and then she got me something for myself which i did not register for these she just got these for me which is really exciting these are full gel socks which i think i'm gonna take these to the hospital and wear them <laughs> infused with vitamin c and oils for cracked heels which like my feet are so dry from just like walking on all the time contain a comfortable gel cushion lining that helps to soften feet improves absorption of treatment creams infused with vitamin c olive oil grapeseed oil and mineral oil for dry and cracked heels wear socks for at least 20 minutes they're like really heavy in this little package i want to open them it's like one of those things i need like a knife for I'm gonna have to open these up in a little bit. I can't. Oh no! Wait, I got it. Okay. Ooh, they're really heavy. Ooh, they feel so good. They feel like like slime on the inside, which I love that. Oh, they're <laughs> they're freaking cold. These are gonna be amazing. I'm definitely taking. I'm putting these in my hospital bag right now. Oh my god, they feel so good. I'm putting these in my hospital bag. I'm so excited for these. Thank you so 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 much, Taylor. 
that was so sweet and thoughtful of you i really appreciate the gifts um off my registry and then thinking of something that would be amazing for me as well thank you guys so much for these sweet gifts that um you are treating me with i feel so spoiled and uh, i i just am so humbled i guess i just love you guys so much it's so fun to be able to connect to you in this time when like we're just like counting down for baby i posted on my instagram at dinner on my story and so many of you were messaging me like i'm just like on high alert like the anticipation is killing me like every time you post i'm just like oh my god is it going to be the baby's face and it's just like i oh, know i know i know i just feel so good that my hair is clean i have a spray tan i just feel i feel good but i'm going to just relax because i ate that mexican and then i was like oh my god of course like what if this induces me so i'm gonna edit a vlog in bed we're gonna watch a movie me and griffin and um just try to take it easy and you know keep this baby in me until <gasps> thursday night just like tomorrow's like pretty i mean yeah two more days basically so i love you guys so much i hope y'all are enjoying the vlogs i've put up four vlogs in the last 24 hours i put two up yesterday two up today so I hope you guys are enjoying it and not feeling overwhelmed. I like that they're all about 8, 11 minutes. They're not all too long. Um, so there's a good amount of time. They're not too short, like 5 minutes. But they're not like 20-ish minutes too, like some of my first few days of Vlogmas were. I hope you guys aren't feeling overwhelmed and you're being you're able to catch up and watch them and everything. So let me know, you know, how it is working out for you. And when Vlogmas is over, I definitely want to keep vlogging because the baby, I, I like really want to document, you know, all the first and just her growth. You would probably be seeing a lot more of me more often. Especially when I'm not doing school and work and I won't be pregnant and I can focus again and <laughs> it's just gonna be like a breath of fresh air. I found out I was pregnant when I was like three, four weeks. Like holy cow that's a long time. Like when people say I feel like your pregnancy went by so fast I'm like no way like I can't even I feel like I can't even remember life before I was pregnant because it's just felt so long and I'm so I feel so blessed but it's been long and I'm ready to see this baby and start all of our life you know it's like starting over you just like nothing's ever the same and now you're a family of five and it's so special anywho I'm going to lay down and hopefully you will see me tonight um, on my vlog. I love you guys though so so much and I will see y'all tomorrow. Vlogmas day 19. That is crazy. Vlogmas just flew. Like it really did fly. I love you. Have a good night. Bye. Hang all the mistletoe I'm gonna get to know you better This Christmas